again, Whiskey Whippers and Spirit Sippers. One one here again, and today we got a new one. Today we're going to be checking out what was voted the very best Irish whiskey on the planet, and we got one of each. We're going to be seeing if anything's changed with the old Redbreast Irish whiskey, 15-year-old. Cool. Yeah, we'll stay and hang around with yous. Today we're going to be pitting the old one against the new one. Um, this is this is the old label. This is the new one. We're going to see if anything's changed and uh, if it still deserves to be called the best Irish whiskey on the planet. And I mean, so far <laughs> going into this, I'm like, yeah, probably because uh, price point, price wise, um, the juice itself, everything about it, Red Breast 15, you cannot go wrong. It's an absolutely amazing juice. Let's get into it. It's still the same, and uh, they're both 46% ABV, so 92 proof, um, smooth like butter, um, copper pot still, proper Irish whiskey, and I mean, absolutely delicious. We're just going to see if there's any variance in between the old one and the new one. So let's get into it. Oh, almost cotton candy and like movie popcorn butter. Oh, just a nice, smooth, rich, almost like a powdered sugar. Um, a bit of a creamery. Oh, with a light dusting of like lemon pith, lemon peel over the top, just to tarten it up a little bit, but just to kind of enhance that robust aroma. Oh, this is the old one. Or actually, I don't know. <laughs> the giant tamer hooked us up right before she left, so I'm not sure which one's in which glass. Uh, this one is the DJ11, and this one is the Gray Dot. So I have no idea which one's in which. This one just smells smooth, light, and creamy, buttery. With just a little bit of that pith and lemon peel on the back end to give it just a slight bit of that bitter note. But, oh, this just smells super creamy and rich and buttery. The Grey Dot. This one, it smells very similar, but it has more of like an earthy note behind it. Um, I mean, the, the bottle levels, this one's almost gone. It's got like one drink left in it, and this is newer. I've been drinking off it, but it's definitely got some air on it. I'm trying to keep it pretty fair. This one's more lively. Um, this, I don't know which one's which, but this one seems like newer. It seems more lively. Um, Just all those notes are really leaping out of the glass where this one seems a little bit more muted. This one seems a little more earthy, a little more, uh, I mean, certainly not peated, but definitely has a little bit more of that old school, more of a leather bookshelf note, kind of like walking into an old library note. That's why I'm it's making my mind think that this might be the older one, but the older one could be the one with the flavors leaping out of it. They might have muted it and watered it down on the new one, so we don't know. But yeah, this one, it has more of a malty essence, I guess, is that earthy thing I'm getting. It has more of a malt forward um, profile where this one seems more fruity and lemony and flowery and sugary. It's like, just seems like more is going on in this one than in this one. But it's there, yeah, this one seems just malted butter right here. All right, let's go in on the taste. I told her to pour healthy, they're a little bit light, so we're gonna have to be a little bit uh, easy going on it. Don't wanna run out before the end of it, but tough not to just slam them. <laughs> Red Breast is so good all the way around. Um, got a bunch more coming. I got the PX that's been on the shelves forever. I gotta open up and uh, review. I got the new Oak uh, Red Breast, uh, the new Kentucky Oak Edition. But yeah, definitely got some Red Breast to review and excited to do so. The one that seems more lively with the aromas jumping out of the glass. I'm going to get a sip. There's almost more going on in the nose than there is in the flavor profile. I mean, it's still really good, but a little bit of that lemon pith. A lot of that sugary sweetness seems to be gone. Um, lemon pith and like movie popcorn butter is kind of what I'm getting. Get a little fresher with some water. A more malted one in the gray dot. The smell and the flavors are different. This one has a lot bigger nose, but the taste is a lot more robust on this one. Um, again, don't get just the bottles that are behind it. I don't know which one's which, but this one has more of a lingering, 
now I'm really thinking this is the older one because this one has more of a lingering, uh, lingering, more of an oil mouth coating feel, um, a deep, dark, more of a robust flavor profile with just the malt and a bit of a chocolate note on there. Flavor wise, I like this one. Nose wise, the aromas are coming out of the glass a lot stronger than this one, but the flavor is, <laughs> they're both good, but this one's a little bit extra. That is, that is nice. If that's a new one, I'm going to be super happy because <laughs> I'm happy either way, but that just means I have more of it. It's going to be hard to come across another one of these old ones. And if that is the old one, I only have one glass left. Oh man, round one, nose goes here, uh, flavor goes here. Let's put a little bit of water in it see if that changes anything. Couple drops, see if we can activate any new notes. Oh, it actually took the sweetness away from this one and made it more like that lemon pith, lemon peel, sour note. I don't know why, but that boy, that movie butter popcorn really is jumping out as a flavor note on this one. On both of them, actually. Just that sweet, buttery goodness. It's kind of muted down, getting more into that malty aspect. Um, a bit of more of a floral note instead of sweetness. It's more of a floral aroma. But the sweetness is still there on the back end for sure. Oh wow, now it's, <laughs> it feels like it's melting. It's starting to smell very nice. Kind of, yeah, it's a little more of the lemony bitter notes, but in a good way, nothing off-putting at all. This smells phenomenal. It's gonna be tough to beat this on the nose again. Let's see how this one's done. Yeah, just that, it's tamped down, but it's still just that malted, buttery, almost a yeasty hoppy nose very tamped down and muted on the nose on this one the water didn't really open too much up it's still more like walking into that old library dusty den type of situation mm. yeah, dark and dusty is almost kind of how i get that nose whereas this one's like vibrant and pithy and lemony and just bright all right let's see how that is on the flavor don't buy Boy, just no nip, smooth, easy butter, no coming back up or no tickle. I mean, it just floats right down. Now, when you go to drink it, just putting your nose in there, just instantly, like, you just notice the aromas. And I mean, oh, you think it's going to have this great popping flavor, and then the flavor's a little bit muted. Um, again, right when you put the nose in, you're expecting all this, like, whoa, and then you taste it, and it's a lot more dialed down than you think it would be. But yeah, just that beautiful copper pot malted barley sweet the sweetness is more on the back end though that after like the, almost the after and uh it's a little more bitter and pithy up front lemony make sure we get those rinses in between i don't think i'm going to do this over ice um it's a little light on the pores and i want to make sure i never drink it over ice um, i doubt many of you are drinking irish whiskey over ice it's already so smooth and buttery you don't really need it Maybe some of you are, and you know, kudos to you. Drink it how you like it. But I think for this one, we're gonna not do ice over it just because I can't re pour it or refill because I don't know which one's which. Oh, after the water being in here a little bit, the, the this one, the, I do think this is the older one because after the water hit it, I think it reactivated and the nose is coming alive a little bit more on this one. More of the sweetness, maltiness, just movie popcorn butter. It's delicious. Boy, it just seems a little more mellow, but there's like this little chocolate cocoa nut on the back end of it that I really enjoy. Um, even with the water in it, it's about the same. The nose wins here. I think the flavor um, wins here. All in all, um, I mean, I drink it for the flavor. It's a nice nose in it, but they both smell decent. But I think the flavor is going to go with the gray dot. I think even though it's the aromas aren't jumping out of the glass, like I said, it's almost a tiniest bit of a letdown when you smell all that and then you taste it. It's just a little bit flatter. Not trying to take away from anything. They're both delicious and I'm glad to have them. If I'm going for the flavor and I'm going for a re-pour, I think it's going to be the gray dot. So I guess it's time to figure out which one's which. I believe this is where the giant tamer wrote it down. I hope this is where she wrote it down or we're going to have a problem. 
Ah, there we go. The GOT is the red, which is the newer one. So the GOT is the red and the newer one, exactly what I thought. The gray dot is the gold. Or actually, this is the red one. I guess I can split them. Because I did the red by the red on the label. So the red is the new one. The gold is the old one. So I absolutely called it. Um, I kind of felt that way. Like one was just a little bit. They're the same age. When I say older, um, I just mean the old label. They're the same age. They're both 15 years old. But I think it might have had. Uh, I think it was a little bit unfair. Just because there's so much more in this one. And this one's like I said almost gone. So the oxygen's really crushed this. I've had this bottle for a long time. So I think that's what did it for the aroma. But the flavor held up. And the flavor is actually a little bit better on the old one. Like I said, they're both delicious. You're not going to go wrong. Don't be shy going out and buying the new Red Vest 15 because it's phenomenal. But yeah, any of those of you who have that old 15 or if you see one on the shelf, snatch it up because I do believe the flavor is just a little bit better on the old one. Did it blind, so can't say I cheated and just saying, oh, everybody's going to say the older one's better. Like this one, in my case, I had no idea which was which and it felt like that was the older one and it was. Um, just a little bit better. I don't know if they're pushing it out faster or changing the things up because they need to get it out because there's such a demand for whiskey now. But to me, the older one just seems a little bit better. So if you can find one that's worth grabbing, if you just have the new one, there's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy that one as well. That's going to do it for this one. I hope everybody out there is having an absolutely fantastic week and it only gets better from here. And until we see you on the next one, cheers.